Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go ahead and make the review on the Heritage Steel uh, Pots and Pans set that I bought um, about a year ago exactly. So I believe I got the eight piece set and I'll link the exact set below so that you can see exactly what I bought. Um, but I ordered it last December, so I've had it about a year now and uh, I've been using it almost on a daily basis. So I wanted to go ahead and review them for you because I know there's not a lot out there about Heritage Steel, or at least at the time when I bought them, um, I didn't really see very many reviews or anything. So um, anyways, I will try to go over all of the good and the bad of my experience. And uh, this video is not sponsored by Heritage Steel or anyone else. And I bought the pans with my own money. Um, I bought them on sale, um, a sale that everyone had. And uh, I'm not getting anything for this review either. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. So um, it's my honest review. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I really love a lot of things about the pans and but I definitely have had kind of a negative experience as well so I'll just go over kind of some of the good things first I suppose and then I'll tell you kind of where I had that bad experience so um, I did an unboxing video you guys can check that out if you would like um, the pans did arrive with some of the, the two frying pan handles sticking out of the box. So uh, they did seem like they were packaged well, so I don't know how that happened. Uh, but there wasn't really any visible damage from that. Um, included in the packaging when you get the pans is directions on um, how to wash them for the first time because they do come with, you know, like the manufacturing oils and things like that on them. So uh, you know, they have an insert in there that explains how to wash them um, using vinegar and water and dish soap and, and whatever. So I did follow those directions exactly like it said to. Um, and uh, they were beautiful out of the box, super shiny and uh, great. So yeah, as far as that goes. And then I went ahead and started using them. Um, I definitely use the big stock pot probably the most. I use it for lots of things. I am an avid canner, uh, so I when I do big batches of canning stuff, uh, I make brines in there. I made all my tomato sauces um, in the big stock pot. I've used it to out on a propane stove to boil maple sap into syrup. Um, I also then I bring it the um, sap inside and finish it on the stove into maple syrup and so I've used it uh, for a lot of applications and I really love the size I love how big it is I love the handles it does have the stay cool handles and it really does stay cool um, they've never even felt the slightest bit warm so I, I love the handle so much um, I use the smaller kind of medium sized pot a lot as well. We usually use it for stuff like warming up soups or leftovers or things like that. Usually when it's uh, enough food for one or two people uh, because it's not obviously large enough to make something for a whole family. Um, but I use it to make mashed potatoes and things like that, like a side dish. Um, yeah, so I have no complaints about that. I like the shape of the handles on the the regular skillets and um, that pot. I I like the set overall as far as what the pan what pans and pots were included. Although I do wish that they had a smaller pot in the set because I definitely use a, a tiny pot a lot. I don't use a microwave so I like to melt butter in a tiny pot and things like that or if uh, one of the kids is just gonna have like a small serving of soup or something like that it's nice to be able to just warm up some soup in a little pot uh, so there's lots of applications where I would use a smaller pot I wish it was included in the set but um, it's not so uh, I do believe that I seen some smaller pots on their website that you could buy separately 
Um, as far as the saucepan, that's it's the first time I've ever had an actual saucepan, something that's you know big and round but has a, a little bit deeper wall than a frying pan, so I can uh, do a, a lot of things that have some kind of liquid in them, which is really nice. Uh, you could probably even fry some chicken in it would be cool, but uh, I mostly use it for things like um, with lots of sauce in it. For example, like biscuits and gravy. If I make like a sausage gravy, I'll make it in the saucepan. It's kind of nice in there. So I like having that. Um, I do like that the saucepan has a lid. The frying pans do not come with lids and that bugs me. I use a a lid with a frying pan all the time. Maybe it's just me, um, but I do like to use a lid on a frying pan for a lot of different things. I don't just use a frying pan for frying, you know, like a, a piece of meat or something. I use it for a lot of things. I mostly use cast iron. I really love cooking with cast iron. My passion, you could say, is cast iron, but there are things that I would prefer to just not cook in my cast iron, although I have uh, plenty of times, but uh, for example, things that are acidic like tomato products. Um, one thing that I have kind of not liked about the set are the lids. I really thought when I first pulled the lids out of the box when I got them, I noted how flat they were. They just have no arc at all. They're just really flat across and I just thought they kind of looked funny and I thought well I'm not going to be able to really pile a lot of food in there and and cook you know and let things cook down if you've ever cooked something like a um, maybe a bunch of uh, cabbage sliced cabbage I do that sometimes like cut up a cabbage really thinly sliced and cook it with a bunch of chopped up sausage or something and you really like pile it in there and then it cooks way down and so you might want a lid that kind of allows you to really stuff a lot of stuff in there knowing that it's going to come down um, but you just you can't do that with these lids because they're really flat which isn't really a deal breaker it's not a big deal but one thing that I thought was kind of a big deal is that the range I'm using right now is a glass top electric stove. It was here when we moved in and I hate it so much, <laughs> but that's what I have right now. And uh, so one day I was cooking dinner uh, in the saucepan and I had had the lid on and so it had got condensation and stuff on the lid. And usually I will uh, set the lid on the stove next to the burner that I'm using so which I'm usually cooking on the left burner and then I set the lid to my right on the kind of burner area next to it and so I had done that and I went to grab the lid to put it back on the pan and I couldn't pick the lid up off the stove it had because it's so flat and then adding that heat and moisture to it it just suction cupped right to the glass on my cooktop and I couldn't get it off and it took me probably 30 45 seconds of kind of pulling and shaking trying to move it back and forth for me to pop that suction loose and get the lid off and it kind of scared me uh, because I didn't want it to like you know, break the glass or something crazy to happen. I don't know. I was kind of taken aback by it and I thought, wow, it's not just, you know, these lids, I just feel like they're kind of a poor design, but that's just my experience. I don't know if that would matter to you or anything in your circumstance. If you don't have a glass cooktop, then maybe you, that, you know, wouldn't affect you any at all. So it's kind of a personal thing that I just dislike them. The, the shape of them and stuff so um but that was not my only bad experience unfortunately I've kind of been taking my time at doing this review because I do have some really bad things to say I really enjoyed the pan the pots and things I really hate to say something negative about an American-made company uh, but I've just had a horrible experience with the frying pans and it makes me not want to recommend them to other people. Uh, for my personal experience, I don't know. I feel like, you know, sometimes I question whether it could be 
my fault, something I did, something that my stove, you know, is my stove, you know, not working properly. Um, but I have used stainless steel for the past probably 16 years. And, you know, so I know what I'm doing as far as cooking with stainless steel. Um, I use lots of other pans. I still have my made in China um, stainless steel set that I've used on the stove and I haven't had a problem. I cook in cast iron almost every single day and none of my cast iron has had a problem. It's only the frying pan, the 12 inch, the 12 inch frying pan, which is the larger one, and the saucepan that I've had a problem with. For whatever reason, the 10 inch frying pan doesn't seem to have an issue. So it's just the larger 12 inch um, frying pan and then the saucepan that I've had a problem with. So I was cooking one day with the large frying pan and I noticed that it started kind of leaning toward the handle on the stove. And I thought that may, at first when I started noticing it, I thought that the pan was just off balance. I thought, man, the handle seems so heavy that it's kind of, when there's no food in it, it's kind of tilting the pan toward the handle. And so I just thought that it was like a weight issue when the pan was empty, that the handle weighed so much it was like tipping it that way. But over time, I started to realize that it's spinning as well. So I really kind of noted that and looked and sure enough the pan was warped to the point where it was wobbling and eventually spinning on my glass cooktop. So I had never had that done with any of the pots or pans that I've ever used. So it was I was pretty shocked. I wasn't expecting that. Um, then it wasn't long after, now that I was paying attention to that, I noticed that the saucepan was doing the same thing. And the saucepan is actually worse than the frying pan, and it will spin and spin and spin on my glass cooktop. And I couldn't even believe it. So, but at first, after the frying pan, I had noticed, wow, this is crazy warped and spinning. So I did go onto the Heritage Steel website and they have, I clicked on the um, warranty page or whatever because they do have a lifetime warranty on them. And so I went in and they just had like a form right online that you can fill out. And uh, so I went on there and filled that out. Very basic information. When you get your product, you register it and you're given like a number and stuff. And so I just keep that in my email inbox. And uh, so I put in, you know, my name, address, that number that they gave me when I registered. And then it has a box for you to type out your complaint. And then you can choose to, if you would like to um, submit some pictures as well. So I went ahead and put in my information, said, hey, my 12 inch skillet is warped and spinning on my glass cooktop. And that was pretty much it. And then I did choose to include two images of the bottom of the pan. I set it upside down on my cooktop and put a ruler, like a wooden ruler across the bottom of it. And just to show that it wasn't touching the ruler at all on one side. And so, uh, the next day, it was like two days maybe later, I got no response from the company, but I got a shipment, a shipment confirmation, I think it was two days later, um, saying that my new pans had shipped. And so then it was like two days later, because they're in Tennessee, it's not far from here. So um, it got to my house within two more days. So with that same week that I had put in the complaint. I got a new 12 inch skillet in the mail and never heard from the company. I, they just sent it out. And so I thought that that was pretty nice. I thought, wow, that was easy. I mean, the customer service there I thought was great. I don't need them to contact me and tell me, you know, that they sent the, the package or whatever. So it was kind of nice that they just, oh, send it out and boom, here I got a new pan. So that was really cool. Um, I did right away pull that out of the box, do the washing the way that they suggest with the vinegar soak and such, and I went ahead and used it that day. Um, unfortunately, after cooking that one meal, I had a warped skillet again. So I, um, 
I don't know how it happened. I was cooking on the stovetop. Uh, it was a dinner meal, nothing crazy, nothing new. And by the end of the meal, um, yeah, it was warped. So I was actually cooking with it and uh, and noticing, yeah, you know, it's warped right now. I could tell immediately that it was warped. So that was crazy. Um, so it was a while because I thought, well, I'm not going to go out and put in another complaint about the same issue on the same pan because I felt like I started thinking, is it something that I'm doing? Is it my stove? I, I don't know. Even now, I'm like, what could it possibly be? Is it a coincidence? I mean, they have good reviews online, like on Amazon and stuff like that. Um, I don't see a bunch of people complaining that they're warping. Um, but I, I'm using all sorts of cookware and this frying pan is the only thing that's warping. So then, um, you know, I still had now two warped frying pans and a warped saucepan. And, uh, recently I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if I can get those two replaced again. And then I'm just not going to cook with them. I'm going to just hold them. Maybe I'll try them. I'm just going to like hang on to them and wait until I get in my new stove because we have the kitchen about half remodeled. So I still have the electric range, but we are going to replace it once this side of the kitchen is done being remodeled. So I thought maybe I'll just hang on to it until I get a new stove. I'm trying to switch to propane and so maybe I'll have a better experience with a different stove. Um, so yeah, I thought I'm just going to try to go ahead and see if they'll replace it again for the same issue. And maybe they're going to contact me this time and say, what are you doing to the pan? Because this is the second time. Maybe I, I thought maybe they would, you know, contact me because it was the second time that it would had happened. Um, and they didn't. So this was recently, um, within like the last few weeks or so. I, I just went ahead and went on same process. I went online, I put in the information, and this time I said that both my 12 inch and my saucepan are warped and uh, submitted it. And it was about three days, three or four days later, I got a shipment notification saying that my pans had shipped. And two days later, I received a package with both of the new frying pan and saucepan in there. Never heard from the company. So I don't know what their philosophy is as far as their warranty if they're just, I mean, you don't have to ship the pan back to them. Uh, you just keep it. So, I mean, I didn't want to throw something like that away. So I'm cooking with the warped, horrible pans. I can't stand it, but I don't want to warp the new ones they just sent me. So those are in a box waiting to be tried at a later date or whatever, and uh, I'm using the horrible warped ones right now. Um, so yeah, it's kind of strange as far as that goes, but they seem to be great <laughs> with replacing um, the pans and really holding up their end of the bargain for the warranty. So if you want to take the chance and you're concerned, will they hold up the warranty? Yes, they, they really seem to be great with their warranty. When they say it has a lifetime guarantee, they mean it. They never contacted me to, you know, find out if it was their fault or my fault or, you know, anything like that. They just sent the new pans, which I think is great. It was really convenient. I'm glad that they didn't, tr you know, ask me to ship the pans back or something like that. Um, I just hope that nobody takes advantage of that and, you know, uh, complains about something and then there's really nothing wrong with their pan and then they get, you know, free ones or something. So that would be my only concern is for them in that way, but it's definitely a great customer service and great warranty that's really really cool um, it's just unfortunate that my experience has been bad as far as getting those warped pans um, i really love a lot of things about them i love the look i love the handles the weight they clean easily um, they do you know how when you cook with stainless they kind of can get 
that kind of hue to them. Like maybe you cook some meat and it leaves kind of a whitish circle to it. And then you have to use Barkeeper Friend to clean it. Um, you definitely need to use some Barkeeper Friend if you want to keep them shiny and new looking. But they do easy to cook in, easy clean up. Um, the, the pots are just amazing. They're beautiful. The handles are awesome. The stay cool handles, they cannot be beat. Um, it's just my experience with those frying pans that I could not at this point recommend them to anyone as far as that goes. Um, maybe I'll think differently when I get a new stove. I don't know. But until then, I'm not going to risk it by, by using them right now. So I hope this review helped you guys out. I hope that it helps in your decision making if you're looking at buying these pans. And if I get any other updates for you on these pans, I'll go ahead and let you know, probably just by a reply in the comments. But um, I hope that you guys had a great day and I'll see you guys next time.